sickle cell is a very traumatizing experience. And uh, I'm kind of curious to know, um, have you healed from your sickle cell trauma? And if so, how have you healed? And if not, like, how do you, how are you working towards that? Or are you working towards that? I think I have. I'm going to say I think I have. <laughs> you think? You don't know. Um, no. But it's hard to tell. I, you never it's hard to tell. It doesn't scare me anymore. I can say that. Just because, um, like, I've accepted it. Mm. I've accepted it. That's 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 where it, that's where I think um, I've accepted it and what comes with it, and I ain't afraid of the consequences of it. You know what I'm saying? Like that, and that for me is freedom. That for me is freedom, man. Like if it goes all the way south, bro, and I, I don't want to be dramatic. I don't want to make it seem like I'm saying this for, but if it goes all the way south, I'm at peace because it's like I've done the best I can with this. You know mm. what I'm saying? So Annette has provided me the freedom to do everything I've done because I've been able to operate without any restraints. You know what I mean? And then just take what comes with the that comes what comes with it. But like trauma for me, it ain't really, it ain't really and, and I'm if I were to sit down with a therapist and talk about this, it might have an effect on like my psyche and the way I approach life and everything. Yeah. But for me it's worked out and I don't like I don't run from it. Now I'm conscious and I'm respectful of the disease and what it is, but I don't allow it to alter how I do anything. Anything has made me stronger, but at the same time, bro, I'll, I'm here for whatever it brings to me. Cause I, I like I, I wouldn't want to live my life any other way. 